Hi, my name is Kate Nichol. I'm the pastor of the Eden United Methodist Church. Today, Governor Cuomo announced that Eden, New York would be in an orange zone, an orange cluster. I'm aware that there are a number of people within our community that have received that phone call that I mentioned on uh, Sunday morning, that phone call that my family received just a few weeks ago, that we had been in close contact with someone who tested positive. It's a very stressful moment when you get that call. And I can only imagine the amount of stress and discernment that has gone into the process of determining whether or not various towns and cities should be declared yellow, orange, red, or remain green. We were fortunate for a time that the occurrence rates of COVID-19 were relatively low. It enabled us to worship for a few months together with one another. But we've reached the point where it's time for us to return to virtual only worship. That will begin immediately this Sunday. My hope is that as we get through this time together, that we remember the story that we have been following through the lectionary, and that is the story of the Israelites. The Israelites who God brought out of Egypt, brought through the Red Sea on dry land, and most recently the story of coming into the Promised Land while crossing the River Jordan. The Israelites wandered for a really long time before receiving the, pro the promised land. I don't think that that's the kind of situation we find ourselves in at this moment. But I do think that the situation that we find ourselves in is difficult. I think that it's trying. And I think for many of us, we were already tired. But what I remember from that story isn't just that the Israelites wandered or whined or complained, but that God throughout it all remained faithful. And that there were people within the Israelite community that also remained faithful. So my hope and my, my continued hope for us as the community of faith in, the, in Eden, New York, is that we take this time apart to spend time with God. That we find new ways to connect with our neighbors, with our friends, with our family. Some of those ways which we learned this spring that we'll have to start doing again. I know that our God has promised a time when all things will be made right. And as we approach the season of Advent, each week is a reminder that our God has promised us to that he is returning and that when he does, all things will be made right. So my prayer for us in this second time of separation is that we remember the promise made both to the Israelites, that God would protect them, save them, and bring them through the time of trial, the time of wandering, and the promise that he makes to his church through Christ. That we are not alone, that he has not abandoned us, that God is with us. So, until we see each other in person again, keep praying, keep hoping, and keep the faith.